I am a Vermonter from Washington County originally. I moved over the mountain to Madison County where I, I married a farmer's daughter uh, because she was smart and pretty and came with 10 acres. <laughs> um, I live in a very tiny town south of Middlebury. I won't say the name, but it rhymes with polyester and molester. <laughs> tiny town where nothing ever happens, nothing ever changes. The population of my town is 979 people. It was 979 people 50 years ago, 100 years ago, 979. The reason the population never changes is because whenever a girl gets pregnant, somebody leaves town. <laughs> it's a rule. I think it's in the zoning, maybe. Uh, living in a small town has upsides and downsides. Upside, everybody knows you. Downside, everybody knows your business. Everybody knows your business because everybody knows your motor vehicle. Friends, if your neighbor knows the make, model, and color of your car, he can track you like a Soviet spy. <laughs> Which is why I would never cheat on my wife. Because I know that as soon as I started banging some blonde, I would get a phone call. Tony, Fred, was that your Chevy pickup I saw parked outside the Blue Spruce Motel? <laughs> Saturday the 21st from 9 to 11 p.m. <laughs> Blue S10 2001 4x4 silver toolbox. Rust on the driver's side. Did you break down? I broke down all right. Um, in a small town, everybody knows about your health. Around here, you see Millbury College is the largest employer in Madison County. Second biggest employer, Porter Hospital. Everybody knows somebody who works at Porter Hospital. You cannot have a wart removed without it being public knowledge. <laughs> Just last summer, I had a minor hernia surgery, outpatient, no problem. I'm at Porter Hospital in the pre-op getting prepped. Any nurses, doctors here, you know what prepping is? Prep. They shave you down. <laughs> so I'm on the gurney, no underwear, Johnny up to here, and the nurse is going at me with the razor, scrape, scrape. And we're making small talk, as we are want to do in the Shire town. <laughs> so, I said, how long you worked here? She goes, oh, I've been a porter about 12 years. You, scrape, scrape. <laughs> I teach at the middle school. Middle school? Mr. Bates, scrape, scrape. My daughter's in your second period class. <laughs> it was the parent conference from hell. <laughs> you can't make this up. I said, oh, Really? Uh, oh, she goes, oh yeah, scrape, scrape. My daughter really likes your class. But that B minus really pulled her down off the honor roll. Scrape. <laughs> She's getting an A. <laughs> if you go easy with that big disposable, I'll make sure she gets into Dartmouth College. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, when you get a hernia surgery, guys, they only men hernia anybody anybody they just shave one side okay? which looks a little awkward but that's why they call it a Brazilian because apparently in South America the rainforest meets the beach in Brazil okay? I painted a picture for you here sweetheart okay the west of the log is the east of the log I'm making a geographical reference to the pubertal area. I'm a teacher. Which I'm sure gives you a ton of faith in the public school system. Oh, and by the way, I know why it's fashionable now for you guys to, to shave down there. You know why they do that, don't you? It makes it look bigger. See, I can compare in the mirror. It's like a little Anthony. Big Tony. Where, where have you been all my life? Uh, but it's just an optical illusion, really. Landscapers know this, you know. You trim, trim the bushes, the lawn ornament looks bigger. Speaking of obesity. I'm working on my segues.
the... <laughs> I totally forgot what I was going to say. This is, either... this is either early onset dementia or the first stage of syphilis. <laughs> oh, ob in, obesity is a problem across the country. It's hit Addison County hard, too. Obesity has a lot of complicated causes. Diet, exercise, genetics, self-esteem, there's a socioeconomic component. But to me, all those complicated causes of obesity can be summed up in six simple words. Addison County Fair and Field Days. <laughs> Am I being a dink for talking about what I observe in New Haven in August? For the love of God, Sally, can you put more fried dough in your mouth today? Can you do that for me? Are you thinking maybe... If uh, you put on 10 more pounds, maybe the U.S. Postal Service will give you your own zip code. You know, 057, oh my God, I got a fat ass. Is nobody looking at your YouTube videos so you, try to have to be, you have to try to be visible on Google Earth? Hey, Dad, look at this satellite image. I, I can see Mom's green and yellow fashion bug stretch pants on Route 17. No, no, never mind. It's just a John Deere hauling a shit wagon. <laughs> you guys know Platitude Peak? Every small town in Addison County has, you know Platitude Peak, you do. Uh, Platitude Peak. Platitude Peak is the guy you know who, who knows a lot of proverbs, um, aphorisms, wise sayings, and he pulls them out for every occasion, but he invariably either butchers the saying or maims it to within an inch of its life. Hey, Pete, uh, you gonna keep that money or reinvest it? Well, you know what they say. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bucket. <laughs> Pete, uh, looks like Ted's got himself into a real pickle. Well, I think you'd call that a catch 32. <laughs> hey, Pete, you gonna throw that away? Well, you know what they say. One man's trash is another man's yeast infection. <laughs> Hey, Pete, what about that weather they got up in, in Chittenden County last month? Well, you know what they say about the weather in Vermont. If you don't like it, stick your finger up Tom Messner's pooper hole. <laughs> <laughs> and that is my time. My name is Tony Bates. <laughs> <laughs>